Hello friend and welcome to Class A Gamer. This will be a hype and prep video for Hogwarts Legacy. Next week we're going to be live streaming it on Wednesday. So I am super excited. What we'll be doing today is running through and watching the official trailer that dropped today. Super excited. And then I will be going through the sorting in the house on Pottermore to see what house I'm going to get into with what wand and also the Patronus quiz. So I'm going to go through a lot today. Let's jump right into it and let's watch the trailer. Boom. In light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh my god, that's like our our main game book. A lot to absorb on your first day. Can't believe I'm here. Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. You have much to learn. Yeah, because we're you playing have the catch benefit up. of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Let me a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. They will test your abilities both innate and learned. You've done it! I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. Uh, what Daddy. What do they want with a Hogwarts student? I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. Extraordinary. It's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. The path we're on is terribly dangerous. But I do not know where it leads. Let's even her out, shall we? Uh oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble. We leave our legacy in your hands. Yes! Oh my god, this is so exciting. This just makes me a kid all over again. Like, I mean, I'm already a kid inside. I LARP, I dress up and, and play with foam weapons. So this just takes me back. I got my LARP wand ready to go. I'm super, super excited for this game. So I love my RPGs. I love all of that fun stuff. Okay, so let's get to the Wizarding World. And so I got my portrait already. Okay, so I've done the sorting years ago, like years ago, and I ended up in Hufflepuff. So I got my Hufflepuff tank top. I'm so excited. I'm dying to do this over again years later to see have i changed have am i in gryffindor now am i ravenclaw slytherin maybe i'm just divergent i don't know i don't know i could be all of them but i'm curious to see i'm curious to see what proton Pat uh, patronus i get because last time i ended up getting a salmon and i don't know if i want a salmon again but i heard good things about salmons and i've seen all kinds of different patronuses now um, and then see what kind of wand I would get now, because that was so long ago. I am curious to see what will happen now. And I got my cute little Niffler on my shoulder, because that's going to be my little pet. I love him so much. Okay, so let's get started with the quiz of the house. Let's see where we get sorted out first. Let's see. Okay, discover your Hogwarts house. Griff, Rave, Puff, Slith, get sorted. Now, let's do that. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, moon or stars, choose one to continue. I do love my moon. Okay, which nightmare would frighten you most? Standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly that there are no 
hand or footholds, nor any barrier to stop you from falling. Okay. Um, being forced to speak in such a silly voice that hardly anyone can understand you and everyone laughs at you. No. Um, waking up to find that neither your friends nor your family have any idea who you are. That's kind of frightening, actually. An eye at the keyhole of the dark, windowless room in which you are locked. I don't know if I could call that dark. I mean, it's dark. It's kind of scary, but what would frighten me the most? This one is standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly like there are no hand or footholds or any bear to stop you from falling. So that's basically it's just like fear of heights, which I don't have fear of heights. Um, so I freaking love heights and roller coasters and all that fun stuff. I would say the waking up to find that neither your friends nor your family have any. That's frightening. The whole like play of reality and like knowledge that would scare the Jesus out of me. Okay. Let's try to, um, let's select this one. Okay, this one is, what are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. All about magical creatures and how to befriend care for them. Oh, that's such a Hufflepuff thing to do. Flying on a broomstick, that's fun. Apparition and disapparition. Being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I live for teleportation and moving really, really fast. That may actually have to be one of them. Um, secrets about the castle. Ooh. Mmm. We do love our secrets that we want to un un uh, uncover. Transfiguration, turning one object into another object. That one's always fun. I don't know if that's necessarily the one I'm looking the most forward to doing. Hexes and jinxes. It is so dark. Ugh, that sounds like a Slytherin. Let's see. Every area of magic I can. That's like, I just want it all. That's just being greedy, right? Everything. I'm going to say I do love my movement abilities. So I'm going to say the apparition, disapparition. Okay. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Loneliness. No way. I, I am such an introvert. I can handle extroverted situations, but I'm a total introvert. So that's not it. Boredom. Listen, he, I'm alone. I, I will have a good time no matter where I am, no matter who's around. I'm gonna like, there's fun stuff in my head. Um, which other phone do you find most of it? Uh, hunger? D That's a tricky one because I do get hangry at times. Being ignored again, not really. Like, I'm just like, mm, whatevs. Cold. <laughs> I have to say cold. <laughs> I can't stand the cold. I don't really like the cold weather. I will get all my fleece on and whatever to keep me warm. I I think cold. I can't deal with the cold. I no. Okay, if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Choose a category to continue. Wow, okay, cats, toads, owls. Ooh. Um, I would probably go with owls. I mean, cats are cute and all, but I'm just not a huge, huge fan of cats. Like, we're cool. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, what's up? Sup? Sup? And that's it. Um, toads? I don't know. Toads are, they're cool. They're just, like, owls, again, the movement thing. Owls can fly, yo. Like, I am all about ability to get around so i'm looking i'm actually the other one that i the flying on the brooms would have been another good one for me to have selected um i'm gonna go with owls Ooh, if you were attending hogwarts which pet so i get to choose a different kind of owl there's a barn owl a tawny oh <laughs> that's a cute one tawny owl snowy owl very regal i love it um screech owl where it's like what's up uh and a brown owl oh man i think i would go with like the tawny the tawny was just like the big old eyes like hello how are you oh i have to pick this one okay what kind of instrument most pleases your ear the piano 
<laughs> the drums, the violin, or the trumpet? Piano, for sure, hands down. I adore pianos. I actually will go on a binging on YouTube watching like the piano videos of people playing all different kinds of theme songs and whatnot to piano uh, with all the lights and stuff. I don't remember what that software is called. I will binge it and sometimes I'll like fall asleep listening to all of that. So I do love my piano. Uh, which of the following would you most hate people to call you? <sighs> Ooh, we're getting deep, aren't we? Ignorant. Ooh, oof, this that's brutal, right? Like so you ignorant. You ignorant. Selfish. Mm. That's a tough one because I do believe that you have to be a little bit selfish to take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Like, you can't sacrifice yourself for uh, other, like everyone. You know what I mean? Like, there's got to be, you got to have to stay grounded. And that is sort of rooted in a little bit of selfishness. Like, you have to take care and, and love yourself. Um, ordinary girl. Yeah, yo, sometimes I feel like a basic bitch and I'm like, okay, fine, call me that. I don't care. So that's not going to be cowardly. Ooh. Um, you know, sometimes it's okay to be afraid and be scared and, and be able to be like, yo, I'm not going to go there. That's a bad idea. So if someone were like, you coward, um, I think the one that, hurt, I think the one, I would say the one that digs is if someone calls you ignorant. I think that's a tough one because for sure I would like to be thought of like, oh, hey, are you aware of things and are you making the right decisions? And do you have, you know what I mean? Like, do you have all the data to make the right choices and whatnot? Um, but it's not necessarily something that I would get super upset about as far as like, oh, you don't, like, it's okay to say, I don't know. This is a, this is a struggle. This is a struggle. Um, coward, let me see. Cowardly, ordinary, selfish. Ig you know what? I think selfish. As much as there is a little bit of the selfishness that kind of you have to use to take care of yourself and all of that. When when that one's really used, like you're so, so like self, like, uh, like, no, like I, hmm. Because there is a part of me, and like I think there's a part of everyone that sometimes you go to a really dark place and you lash out or do things and, and it comes from a very selfish, self-centered place. And that is not pretty. And so I think this is really the one. Out of sight of all the other ones, like the selfishness parts like digs really deep for me. So I think I'm going to select selfish. All right. White or black? Choose one or the other. Um, I do love my bright palettes like when it comes to my colors that i wear and everything i pref i go light colors then i do darker colors so i'm gonna go with white because it represents lighter the sorting hat is ready to make its decision wow i feel like this was fast i wonder what oh my god okay let's see what's gonna get i hope it is helpful plus still i don't know Ooh. <gasps> I'm still Hufflepuff. Woo woo. I'm still Hufflepuff. Yes. Sorting hat. You did the right thing. I am a Hufflepuff. What's up? Who is else is with us? Of course, Newt's commander, Cedric. Yes. Nymphadora Tonks, girl. Yes. Like, these are my peeps. Hufflepuff for life. That's just, you can't get around how fabulous we are. Sorry, everyone else. We have a beautiful common room. All right, let's do the Patronus. <laughs> let's see what I get this time. Because if I get that Salmon again, I'm telling you, like, I don't know. Let's do the Patronus. Let's see what we get. Oh. Give me that flame. What am I going to get? What am I going to get? Ooh, this is an interesting one. Well, hello. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, you and me, is that, is that, are we bound? Look at that, this is, we've discovered our Patronus. 
Oh, not yet. We've got to begin. Okay, you can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are timed. Go with your instincts. Okay, so, okay, so this is an actual... I was gonna say, like, did I get a stag already right off the bat? Okay, let's go. We have we the time. Relax. Think of your happiest memory. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's see what kind of questions we're gonna get. And we gotta, like, just go with it. Glitter, shine, glow. Glitter. Even though I hate glitter, it's just... It is the first thing that was like, okay, go. Ah. Um, bone, blood, bone. Let's see. <laughs> Lead, escape, save, save. Oh, lead, escape, save. Producer Pajonas, you're so close, I'm so close. Forever sometimes. Forever and ever. Prepare to meet your Patronas. I'm expecting something good. Black, gray, white. Um, let's go with white. Remember we said like color. We need the brightness. We need the light. Still an aquatic animal. Look at that. That is very, very interesting. Dolphin. I got a dolphin. I love it. I like this. So it's interesting because, you know, years ago I ended up with a salmon and now I have a dolphin, which are both like aquatic creatures. So there's got to be something there with the choices that I've made. So that is super cool. I love it. I ended up with Flipper. We got a dolphin. The Patronus turned. It was cantering back towards Harry across the still surface of the water. It wasn't a horse. It wasn't a unicorn either. It was a stag. It was shining brightly as the moon above. All right. So we got our Patronus. Awesome. Okay, let's do the wand. Let's do the wand. We have to finish with our wand. Take part in your official wand ceremony. Now, last time, I think it was like, I want to say it was like a larch. It was a larch wood. And it was like 12 and three quarter inches long. And it had a dragon heart string. I believe it was my other wand. I'm curious to see what I'm going to get this time around. Because, you know, sometimes you go after several years, you may have won a different one from someone. So let's see which one calls out to me this time. <laughs> First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, tall or short? I guess it depends on what country I'm in. <laughs> if I'm in a Latin American country, I'm definitely tall. If I go to Europe, I'm a shorty. If I'm in the United States, I'm fairly average. So I think I'm going to go with an average height. <laughs> and your eyes. Um, my eyes are dark brown, black. A Latino, okay? I have all my Latino features was the day on which you were born an even or odd number there's an odd number i'm giving so much information to you all do you most pride yourself on your determination your originality your imagination optimism resilience kindness and intelligence wow those are a lot of different aspects that I think, you know, a lot of people would try to pride yourself on. Um, I mean, I certainly would think that I'm a very kind person. Um, but I know that I have that, mm, that part like, you girl, don't come for me unless I, I, you know, send for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, intelligence, I definitely feel like, you know, IQ is an important thing imagination i love my creativity my optimism i always say that when people are like hey what's up how you doing i'm like it's another day in paradise honey because you got to stay optimistic 
Um, determination and originality. Ooh, there's a lot. Um, what I pride myself the most on. I think, honestly, what I pride myself the most on is my... Maybe it's not on here, but it's related to resilience. And it is my ability to adapt to a situation. My adaptability, I would say, is along the lines of resiliency is what I kind of pride myself on. So I'm going to go with resilience on this one. Okay. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, or you go straight ahead into the forest? I love the water. I think that's why I ended up with these aquatic Patronuses. I do love the water. Um, and so I'm going to say left towards the sea. Do you most fear fire, small places, darkness, isolation, heights? Oof. I'm going to say darkness. And not necessarily like, oh, I'm scared, scared, scared. It's more of like that unknown that bugs me the not knowing and so it's not just i can't see it's the not knowing i think that's what i guess it's like borderline fear irkingness because <laughs> obviously fire the fire is going to kill you you know what i mean like isolation heights small place fire obviously will destroy you but um but i think as far as like yeah, I think is the not the unknown part is I think more fear. It adds more fear to me than let's say fire because I understand fire. When I don't understand is that darkness and the unknown. So I'm gonna go with darkness. Okay, in a chest, this last question: in a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? A silver dagger, a golden key, ornate mirror, dusty bottle, glittering jewel black glove or a bounce scroll hmm okay so usually when i play D D or any kind of tabletop game or larp or whatever the first thing you want to do is search for traps <laughs> that's just how it is so you have a chest full of magical artifacts the first thing you want to do is like search for traps detect magic and then you see uh, what's going to come about um but as far as like if you were to choose an item based on the perceived ability that this item would give you right you know it's always like a wearable is going to be cool because it's going to give you some sort of ability to do something like the black glove is going to do something to help your dexterity pick locks do something cool like snatch things steals things dusty bottle the ornate mirror glittering jewel bound scroll even the golden key are like that you do something maybe like ornate mirror i don't know it's like beauty and the beast uh, show me the girl um but i think what would be cool just to have like you know because any of these things can do all kinds of different things but just as an item like how cool it is i would say the golden key like that's cool to have even as a magic item like you could wear it around your neck you can like have it in your pocket you can like it's a keychain it's just a magical key that can like open doors you know me and like movement abilities to teleport like, if anyone's seen, um, like, the show Lock and Key, there's, like, a, there's nothing but keys. Like, how, that's so cool. Like, that, to me, is super, super cool. Because the keys can do absolutely anything under the sun. So, I'm going to go with Golden Key. What am I getting? Large wood. <laughs> I got the large wood again. That is, and I got a Phoenix Core. Oh. Oh, wait, did I get a Phoenix Core last time or Dragon Heartstring? Maybe I got a Phoenix Core last time, too. So I actually got a wand very similar to what I had before, which is large. This one's a little bit short. It's like 12 and a quarter, which I think the other one I had was a 12 and three quarters. Similar. Supple flexibility. I think it was the same. That is interesting. Like, this clocks you, so I haven't really changed that much. I'm still in the Hufflepuff house. My Patronus did change. I am I have a dolphin now instead of a salmon. And my wand is pretty much the same. It clocks you. It really, really does. Um, this did a pretty good job. Larch wood. Strong, durable, and warm in color. Larch has long been valued as an art attractive and powerful wand wood. 
Its reputation for instilling courage and confidence in the user has ensured that demand has always outstripped supply. This much sought after one is, however, hard to please in the matter of ideal owners and trickier to handle than many imagine. I find that it always creates ones of hidden talents and unexpected, I remember that part, um, of hidden talents and unexpected effects, which likewise describes the master who deserves it. It is often the case that the witch or wizard who belongs to the large one may never realize the full extent of their considerable talents until paired with it, but that they will then make an exceptional match. That is super, super cool. Yes, the wand does choose the wizard. Harry. Um, other characters and their wands. Hermione was made out of vine wood and possessed a dragon heartstring. Those with vine wood are nearly always those who seek a greater purpose. Tom Brittle and Harry both had that they were like sister wands. Um, they shared the same core from the same feathers from the same phoenix. That's where it was. Dumbledore obviously had the most powerful Elder Wand. Cool. All right. Yes, we did it. We got, uh, we watched the trailer that, which was amazing. So I'm super excited. Um, you were going in as a fifth year, but we have so much catching to do, right? Um, they said we need to be going outside of class and learning um i suppose practical magic right <laughs> doing it doing the practical approach approach rather than the classroom um because we have this accelerated learning that we have to do um we're gonna go in with hufflepuff with our dolphin patronus and our large uh wand i am going to connect this account to the Warner, um the warner brothers um account so that when i start the game next week this will just all be imported and i'm pretty happy with the outcome i mean it's pretty much very much the same as before it was really really interesting that you know in that in that handful of like what was it four or so years um since i took it i think it was that long ago or more maybe even five years ago four or five years ago that i really haven't changed you know we are who we are it's pretty cool because this is essentially a personality test but which is um super cool and even down to the wand it still was pretty much the same so i'm super excited i'm super hyped and i cannot wait to play next week with my hufflepuff wizard and oh my god i cannot wait to have you guys join and we can just have so much fun and yes as always remember love lift play i'll see you next time bye